Hello, how are you? Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, is a disease that causes blurred central vision. The blurriness is caused by damage to the macula, a small area at the back of the eye. The macula helps us to see the fine details of the things we are focusing on. It therefore hinders activities that require sharp central vision, such as reading, driving and recognizing faces. It does not affect side vision, so it does not lead to total blindness. There are two types of macular degeneration, wet and dry. The dry form is by far the most common type. The wet form, on the other hand, develops more rapidly and is more severe. You can have either type in one eye, but over time it can also spread to the other eye. This macular degeneration is the result of damage to the light-sensing nerve cells in the part of the eye called the macula. The cause of the damage to the nerve cells is unknown. Genes and family history may play a role. The main symptom is weak or blurred central vision. Objects may appear distorted or smaller than they are. There may be a blank spot in the central vision. Symptoms may depend on the type of macular degeneration. Dry macular degeneration occurs slowly, while wet macular degeneration occurs suddenly and is more severe. The doctor usually detects this disease through a regular eye examination. He or she will ask about symptoms, past eye problems and other health conditions. He or she may do some vision tests, such as an ophthalmoscopy, a visual acuity test or the Amsler grid test. There is no cure for this disease, but certain treatments can delay vision loss. In the case of dry macular degeneration, you will need to undergo regular examinations and monitor the disease at home, because it can sometimes progress to the wet form. Some vitamin and mineral supplements can help slow vision loss. But consult your doctor before taking any supplements, because some can have harmful side effects. Some studies have found that supplementing the diet with high levels of the antioxidant vitamin C, E, lutein and zexanthin, and the mineral zinc and copper may help slow the progression of moderate or severe disease. But there is no evidence that supplements are helpful if you do not have the disease, or only have a mild form of the disease. Below is a link to the relevant study, note 2. Treatment of wet macular degeneration can sometimes delay the deterioration of central vision. But in most cases, the growth of new, fragile blood vessels starts again, and the disease returns. The main treatment is a drug injected into the eye. This is an antiveg drug. Vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF, is a protein produced by cells in the body. VEGF produces new blood vessels when the body needs them. Anti-VEGF drugs, such as aflibacept, ilia registered trademark symbol, bevacizumab, avastin registered trademark symbol, and ranibizumab, lucentis registered trademark symbol can slow vision loss and, in some people, even improve vision loss. Sometimes other treatments, such as photodynamic therapy, may be recommended. This therapy uses a light-sensitive drug to block abnormal blood vessels under the macula. Your doctor may also recommend laser surgery, which uses an intense beam of light to burn small areas of the retina and the abnormal blood vessels under the macula. Because wet macular degeneration often results in rapid and severe loss of central vision, it is important not to delay the treatment recommended by your doctor. Magnifying glasses, brighter lighting, and large print books may be used to cope with this condition. Your doctor may suggest that you see an occupational therapist or rehabilitation specialist. There may be public agencies that offer these services. The progression of this disease, it is easy to understand, can make profound changes in the sufferer's life. It is a good idea to talk to your doctor if you feel overwhelmed, very sad or hopeless. 
The main risk factors for age-related macular degeneration, AMD, are, first and foremost, as the name suggests, age, specifically, being over 55 years old. And the risk increases with age. A family history of the disease, or if a close relative has the disease, also plays a role. Race plays a role, if you have Northern European ancestry, you may be at greater risk. Smoking, of course, also increases the likelihood of developing the disease. There are other risk factors for developing this disease, and those who want to go into more detail can do so in the bibliographic note below. One. But, in summary, they are these. Having deposits in the back of the eye, called drusen. Eyes with large, soft drusen deposits have an increased risk of developing abnormal blood vessels and wet macular degeneration. Having a diet high in saturated fat and cholesterol. Not getting enough carotenoids, antioxidant vitamins, and zinc in the diet. Age-related macular degeneration cannot be prevented, but there are some steps you can take to reduce your risk of it. Note 2. It is important to have regular eye exams. These can help find out if you are at risk for the disease, or if you already have it, it can be detected early. This in turn can delay vision loss. Of course, it is best not to smoke, because even after quitting smoking, this increased risk of the disease can persist for many years. Exercise regularly and maintain a healthy weight. In addition, people who are at increased risk of the disease should use an Amsler chart. There are versions that can be taken home. This disease can cause these symptoms. Central vision becomes dim, blurred or less sharp. This is the main symptom of macular degeneration. Straight lines begin to appear wavy or curved. This is often the first symptom of wet macular degeneration. Objects appear distorted, distorted or smaller than they really are. A new blind spot appears in the central visual field. Reading requires more light than in the past. It is more difficult to see people's faces clearly. Central vision is lost and does not disappear or worsens over time. Dry macular degeneration occurs slowly. Vision changes may be so gradual that they are not noticeable. It may be present for several years before it affects the ability to read, drive and perform everyday activities. Wet macular degeneration occurs suddenly. Symptoms appear suddenly and worsen rapidly. In dry age-related macular degeneration, AMD, the cells and blood vessels under the macula begin to thin and break down as they age. If it is only in one eye, small changes in vision may not be noticed, as the unaffected eye automatically compensates for vision problems in the other eye. A small percentage of people with this type of macular degeneration eventually develop wet macular degeneration. It often leads to more severe changes in vision and even vision loss. Wet macular degeneration begins with the growth of abnormal blood vessels under the macula. These blood vessels break easily. They leak blood and fluid and cause scar tissue, all of which pushes against the macula. Contact your doctor if you have a sudden and rapidly progressing loss of vision. You suddenly notice a new white or dark spot in the center of your vision that does not go away. Straight lines appear wavy or curved, or objects begin to change size or shape, i.e. appear distorted. More light is needed to read than before. Colors appear faded or less vivid than before. Vision becomes more blurred. The doctor will refer you to an ophthalmologist if necessary. Watchful waiting means wait and see. However, it is not the right option if there are sudden changes or rapid vision loss. In these cases, immediate treatment can slow vision loss caused by wet macular degeneration. And delaying treatment could mean further loss of central vision. If you have dry macular degeneration, on the other hand, watchful waiting is fine. 
You may never lose vision to the point of disrupting your normal lifestyle. A visual acuity test checks central vision, which worsens over time in a person with the disease. This test measures whether vision has worsened, and at what rate, since the last examination. Ophthalmoscopy allows the doctor to look inside the eye to check for signs of the disease. The Amsler grid test is one of the easiest ways to detect wet macular degeneration, because if you have it, the the grid lines appear wavy or curved instead of straight, or you may see a blank spot or hole in part of the grid. The American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends that everyone between the ages of 40 and 54 have a comprehensive eye exam every two to four years. This helps to detect the disease early. An Amsler grid is a graph with horizontal and vertical lines forming squares. It has a dot in the middle. Your doctor can give you a grid to use at home. If you usually wear reading glasses, put them on and place the grid at a normal reading distance. Cover your right eye and with your left eye, look at the grid. We concentrate on the point in the center, but pay attention to the lines around it. And repeat the operation with the left eye covered and the right eye focused focused on the dot. If you have macular degeneration, the lines may appear wavy or curved, or you may see a white or dark area in the center of the grid. And that's it for today. I hope you have had a good look at this information and find it useful. Thanks for making it this far, and see you in the next video.